Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, everyone. Shalom. So wonderful to see all of you, um, whether you are joining us this evening on Zoom or you are coming and joining us on YouTube. Of course, uh, Zoom gives us an opportunity to see each other and to interact a little bit with each other, uh, which is quite special. But we understand and appreciate that um, there are multiple ways of joining in in the service. And we appreciate having all of you come and celebrate Shabbat together. Uh, it is our special Torah service Shabbat. Uh, we're very excited about that. But for now, we are going to begin our service. I invite you to turn right and turn left and welcome other Jews. Um, say hello to them. Uh, if you if you can't really experience it quite the same way as we do uh, as as we do when we are all together in the synagogue, you know what? <laughs> Use whatever we have at our disposal. Open the chat function. You can say Shabbat Shalom to everyone, or you can send a message to specific people. Uh, just make sure if you're sending a message to specific people, you actually send it to specific people. You don't put it out uh, in, in the public domain, in the open. And if you're putting something in the chat, make sure that even if everybody else sees it, that it should be okay, right? I think that's always, that's always a good thing. Shabbatim gam yacha, ime matovu manayim. Shabbatim gam yacha, ime matovu manayim. Shabbatim gam yacha, ime matovu manayim. So delighted to welcome Shabbat with all of you. Didn't realize that we were widening the congregation. We have some cats that are celebrating Shabbat with us, I see. <laughs> By the name of Jim. <laughs> gratitude for all that is holy in my life. God needs no words, no English or Hebrew, no semantics and no services, but I need them. Through prayer, I can sense my inner strength, my inner purpose, my inner joy, and my capacity to love. 
I know <coughs> that many of you have prepared the candles to light them at this time. Some of you have already lit your candles. Uh, if you if you can share them with us, uh, please please go ahead and uh, and do. Uh, I love the the feeling of all these Shabbat candles filling our screens. We go ahead and we join together with a blessing. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu BeMitzvotav VeTzivanu Lehad Likner Lehad Likner Shel Shabbat Amen. Shabbat Lechu Ben Elchad Ki Ime 
sings the song of his own life, finding everything within himself. There is one who leaves the circle of herself and sings the song of her people. There is one whose voice rings with the song of humanity, hoping for the highest perfection. And there is one who rises even higher, uniting with all creatures, with all worlds, filling the universe with song. There is one, there is one. There is one. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. <clears throat> Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch Ata Adonai. Hamariv Aravim. Ahavat Olam Beit Israel Amcha Ahavta Torah Umitzvot Chukim Umishpatim Otanu Limadeta. Thank you. 
as you taught Torah to those whose names I bear. Teach me Torah too. Its mystery beacons, yet I struggle with its truth. You meant Torah for me. Did you mean the struggle for me too? Don't let me struggle alone. Help me to understand, to be wise, to listen, to know. Lead me into the mystery. Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Israel. Would you please rise for the Shema? Adonai Elohecha, Vehol of Hau, Vehol of Shecha, Ovehol Meodecha, Vehayu Advarim Haele, Asherano Him at Saveha, Hayo Maleva Vecha, Veshinantaham Levanecha, Vedibarta, Baham, Beshifteha, Beveteha, Ovelecha, Vaderek, Ovesha, Ovekumecha. Ukshartam le od aliadecha, vehayu le totafo de bene necha. Uktaftam al mezuzo de beitecha, uvisharecha. Leman tiskeru vasitem et kol mitzvotai, vitem kedoshim le lohechem. Ani adonai lohechem. Asher otseiti etchem, me eretz mitzraim, liot lachem, lelohim, ani adonai, elohechem. Please be seated. <coughs> been an easy week. We look at the world which continues to show us signs of anything but love. This week was the turn of the Asian community that had suffered an unimaginable loss. And of course when we see that 
we know what it feels like. And so we reach out, we offer our support, we voice our indignation. We keep going back to the ideal that is laid out to us in the Shema Ve'ahavta. You shall love. You shall love God. But in addition to Ve'ahavta Adonai, the key commandment is Ve'ahavta Lere'echa Kamocha. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Judaism teaches that you cannot love God without loving human beings, without loving God's creations. So as we cry with our neighbors, we remind ourselves that we need love and understanding among us. Let there be love, understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be a shelter flown by storms. Let there be love, understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be a shelter from life's storms. Ashki Adonai Eloheinu. Ashkiveinu Leshalom Ashkiveinu Adonai Eloheinu Ashkiveinu Leshalom Let there be love Understanding among us, let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai Eloheinu Elohe Avoteinu Vimote Einu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sara Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Lea Hael Hagadol Agibor Veanura El Elion Gomel Chasadim Tovim Vekone Akol וזוכר חסדי אבות ואימהות, ומביא גאולה לבני בניהם למען שמו באהבה. מלך חוזר ומושיע ומגן, ברוך אתה אדוני, <coughs> מגן אברהם ועזרת שרה. אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני, מחיה הכל אתה רב להושיע, משיב הרוח ומוריד הגשם. מחלקל חיים בחסד, מחיה הכל ברחמים רבים. סומך נופלים ורופא חולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר. מי כמוך בעל גבורות, 
ומיהי דו אומר לך, מלך מימית ומחייה ומצמיח ישועה. ונאמן אתה לחיות הכל, ברוך אתה אדוני מחייה הכל. אתה קדוש ושמך קדוש, וקדושים בכל יום יהללוך הסלע, ברוך אתה אדוני. Ha'el ha'kadosh. May be seated. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat. We'll leave a few moments of silence at the end of Amidah for our private personal prayers to be offered at this time. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Uh, we continue our service. Tonight is our third Shabbat of the, of the month, which is our traditional Torah service. And so I am excited to welcome people <coughs> up onto the Bima. And now it's not so easy welcoming people to the Bima when, uh, when the Bima is there and you are where you are and I am where I am and Susan is at home. So, uh, so we try and do the best that we can. Uh, I am honored to, uh, and we use technology to help to help us uh, do. Let's see, how do we do this? I have I have my tricks. So there we go. I invite you all to please rise, and um, I am honored to open the ark today in honor of Dave Pokras's 82nd birthday, uh, which is. Uh, fantastic and so exciting. So, Dave, I see that you you are there. 
<coughs> this is this is quite easy because uh, you get to open the arc without leaving uh, without leaving your space. Um, so you are ready. Here we go. Ki himitzion tetzei Torah. Ki himitzion tetzei Torah. Udevar Adonai mihirushalayim. Baruch Shenatan, Torah, Torah. Baruch Shenatan, Torah, Torah. Leamo Israel, Bihigdusha to Mishabera, Chavoteno, Avram, Itzchak, Yaakov, Imatino, Sara, Riv, Karachel, Veleah. May the Eternal who blessed our ancestors, may God bless Dave as he celebrates his birthday, and may he continue to go from strength to strength, celebrating many more in front of the real Ark and not just the virtual rendition of it, where he gets to come and open the doors and have an Aliyah in person. But for now, Mazel tov, and we'll stick with what we have, right, Dave? <clears throat> Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonainu, Kadosh Shemo, Gadol Adonai Iti. Unerome shemo yachdav Lecha Adonai hagedula ve hagevura ve atiferet ve hanetzach ve hahot Ki chol bashamayim uvaaretz Ki chol bashamayim uvaaretz Lecha Adonai Hamam lacha veamit nase lechol rosh romemu Adonai Eloheinu veishtachavu lehar kocho romemu Adonai Eloheinu veishtachavu. Lehar kot shoki ki ki kadosh Adonai Eloheinu romemu ki 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 kadosh Adonai Eloheinu romemu romemu Adonai Eloheinu veishtachavu. Lehar kot sho romemu Adonai Eloheinu veishtachavu lehar kot sho. You may be seated. The Torah is now <coughs> safely positioned on our reading desk. We are <coughs> starting the new book in the Torah. We are now. On the book of Leviticus, uh, also known as Vaikra, we have some wonderful and exciting chanters uh, today. Now uh, we will have Nina. Uh, you you're there, so you can unmute yourself. <coughs> uh, just double checking, chapter four, verse thirteen. Yes, is that where you're starting? Okay, so if you're following at home, uh, if you'd like to, uh, to find the place, we are in chapter 4 of the book of Leviticus. You can start with verse 13. And Susan, over to you. Okay. <clears throat> We call up Paul and Myrna Beck all the way from Virginia in honor of their special same day birthday. <laughs> I share my chavanu mikol ha'amim. 
ואם כל הדעת ישראל ישקו ונעלם דבר מעיני הקהל ועשו אחת מכל מצוות אדוני אשר לא תעשינה ואשמו ונודעה החטאת אשר חטאו עליה והקריבו הקהל פער בין בקר לחטאת והביאו אותו לפני אוהל מועד ושמחו זקני העדה את ידיהם על ראש הפער לפני אדוני ושחט את הפער לפני אדוני. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם אתה בתוכנו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. משברך אבותינו אברהם יצחק ויעקב ואימותינו שרה רבקה רחל ולאה. May the eternal who blessed our ancestors, may, uh, may God bless uh, Myrna and Paul. I don't know how you guys managed to get the birthdays so close. They're a day apart, right? No? No, they're actual same day. Okay, there we go. Well, um, so that's a, that's a special arrangement. I'm sure there was a special dispensation given for that, uh, for that to occur. And uh, I think of all the things that we can all find, uh, we can all find plenty of things to complain about last year. But the fact that Myrna and Paul have been able to come and celebrate Shabbat with Temple Emmanuel so many, uh, so many times has been such a blessing. Uh, wonderful to have you guys here where much of, of your Jewish journey has taken place over the years. And um, we'll, take, we'll take that as a win. And may you continue. Thank you for celebrating your birthday with us. And may you continue to go from strength to strength. And let us say... Amen. All right, Susan, over to you. Yamot Zaev ben Lev Rivka, Lali Ashnia Lakriata Torah. We call up Walter Araker in honor of his 90th birthday. You have to unmute. Yes, he did. Baruch Adonai Amorach Leolam Vahed. Baruch Atuanoi Elohenu Melech Olam. Asher Baruch Abonu Mikol Amin. Nosan Ono Torah's Torah. Baruch Atuanoi Nosan Atorah. Amen. Arie. Arya, are you? He has to unmute. Uh, wait a second. I thought. Ah, there we go. Hamashiach mi dahat hapar el ohel moed v'tava hakohen etzbaot min hadam v'hiza. Sheva peamim lifne Adonai et pene haparchet. Umin hadam yitain al karnot hamizbeach. Asher lifne Adonai asher peohel moed. Veet kol hadam yishpoch el yisud mizbeach haoleh. Asher patach ohel moed. Uh, one second, Walter, over to you. Um, 
May the Eternal who blessed our ancestors. Uh, may God bless Walter who celebrates his 90th birthday. As we say, not too shabby. And it's a wonderful opportunity to remind everyone, especially the younger folks, that membership at Temple Emmanuel guarantees you uh, an unbelievably long life. Uh, Walter, I think uh, knowing you, I don't suspect you are intending to slow down or anything like that. Uh, may, may you continue to go from strength to strength and bless us with your uh, with your wonderful sense of community and an incredible sense of presence. Um, and we look forward to giving you a hug in person when that is sanctioned and allowed. Correct? Uh, there we go. I see a lot of heads nodding. So, so Walter, there's a lot of hugs coming your way. Mazel tov. Thank you. Ishar <laughs> koach uh, to Nina and to Arya. A beautiful, beautiful chanting today, and uh, it's it's always exciting for the teacher to uh, to hear the students chant. I could never chant as beautifully as Nina does, and so I am just so delighted to, you know, this is this is why we teach you guys so that you can take over and do better than than your teachers. That's the wonderful thing. Um, it is a as I as I mentioned in the be in the beginning. Uh, you know what? Let me see if I can stop this. Uh, oh, I have. Okay. So as I mentioned in the beginning, this is a Torah portion that begins the the chapter of the new the new chapter in the new book Vaikra. <laughs> and I want to show you something before I uh, before I close the scroll in a moment. Uh, I want to show you. I don't know if. Uh, well, let's see. Technology is our, at our disposal. <clears throat> so this is something that I don't usually get to do or you don't usually get to see. I want you to see the word Vaikra. Can you see this first word of the book? So you see the big gap, right? And that means that's the beginning of the new book. And then there's the word Vaikra. And I want you to look at that little Aleph. And as I'm getting closer, you can perhaps tell me or you can perhaps tell that Aleph is essentially half the size of any other letter. It is one of those, it, it looks like this in, in every Torah scroll that you will see. And, um, and there is a special tradition. So I'll talk about this um, uh, a little later on. But I wanted you all to see this beautiful little Aleph. And you can tell that it's small because right next to it is a full size Aleph, right? So there, there is that. In any Humash, in any printed book of Torah, if you look uh, at Vaikra, you will see there is a little asterisk. It's printed and there is a little asterisk with an explanation that in the Torah scroll, it is chaser. There is a, a, there is a, 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 a diminutive, there is a minor, uh, a mini version of, uh, uh, there's a mini version of Aleph. Um, and it's really cool that I'm able to, uh, to show it to you like that. Okay. Now, with the Torah scroll still out, we're going to uh, share the words of Mishaberach. And before we do so, I actually wanted to uh, take one moment. Uh, and as I invite people <laughs> to put the names that they want to add, in addition to the names that are already on our list, uh, we invite people to put the names into chat. But before you do that, I realize that it's probably a good thing to remind every now and again. We ask that when you put somebody's name on the Mishaberach, this is usually, this comes in as an expression of our love and concern for someone who is struggling perhaps with illness, uh, had surgery or other things. We pray together as a community. I want to remind everyone that we only put people's names onto that list if you have checked with them and you know that they uh, don't mind for their name to be named publicly, uh, praying for healing. Some of us are more private than others. Some of the conditions that we experience perhaps call for some privacy. So we ask that when, if you call into the office and you ask somebody's name to be put on the list, or if you put them into a chat, please only do this for people that you have checked with and you know. If you haven't and you still want to pray, 
You absolutely can and you should pray for their health. Just say their name quietly or perhaps use their Hebrew name uh, with the mother's name as you can see we, we often do as well. Let's not only pray for each other's health but also respect uh, each other's privacy as we, as we do that. Thank you all so much uh, for that. So to, uh, tonight we pray for health of Greg Evans, Ruth and Peter Lanzer, Stuart Enger, Martin Lifshitz, Megan Gleason, Nada Ottenstein, Stephen Golub, Rita Sachs, Louis Gordon, Marvin Lang, Shol Guerra, Sonia Don Noyes, Yona Ben Mine, Yitzhak Herschel Ben Mayer, Mark Levine, Sabrina Selfridge, Ruth Handler, Robert Healy, Susan Walton, Stacy Goldberg, Megan Russo, George Benedetti, John Dubeck, Kathy Lauren Hugh, Millie Stein, George Zimbel, Judy Goldman, Karen Winograd, Joyce Hoser, Yefim Krieger, Elena Berger, Mitch Broder, Tia Mandrosas, Anne Rack, David Heimben Pinchas, Irene David, Steve Schiff, Bruce Feldman, Patty Schwartz, Larry Schulman, Barbara Berg, Jack Donahue, Michael Sachs, Harold Stern, Arlene Hirschfelder, Ruth Scheinfeld, David Pellet, Laban David Ben Chaim, Shoshana Batzerella, Zvi Bendina, Ruchel Bela, Bat Shmuel, Paulette Marcus, Frank Alvarado, Pearl Rosner, Carlene Wagner, Mayer Ben Gittel, Yehiel Shaul Ben Rachel, Harriet, Harriet Lieberman, Mordechai Ben Akiva Halevi, James Murray, Kathy Langston, Hannah Bella Bat Libby Cecil, Rachel Perlman, Sue Daniello, Sharon Rocha, <coughs> Anna Whitcor, Randy Sobelman, Walter Sofian, Eliezer Ben Sarina, Doug Stacy, Gary Teller, Rivka Bat Benina, Pavel Rapson, Hannah Bat Rita, Batia Bat Miriam, and Dion Couture. Um, there is uh, also a list here. Bear with me. Marion and Bob Drobish, Roberta Vine, Barbara Goldhammer, Pascal Panza, Rachel Richardson, Stuart Koritsky, Jeff Ritterman, Dave Knight, Ed Friedman, Sam Capello, um, Ian David, Phyllis Olshansky, Dave Arizini. Baruch Ata Adonai, Rofea Cholim, blessed are you Adonai, who sends healing to those who are in need of healing. Mi shebera chavoteinu, mekor abracha leimoteinu. May the source of strength, who bless the ones before us, help us find the courage who makes our lives a blessing, and let us say, Amen. Mi sheberach imoteinu mekor abracha leavoteinu Bless those in need of healing <coughs> with refua shelema the renewal of body the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. Vezot HaTorah Asher Samoshe Lifnei Bnei Yisrael Al Pi Adonai Be'yad Moshe as we prepare to return the Torah into the Ark, I invite you to rise if you are able. Ha 
קודש ימינו כקדם. Please be seated. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. So I have promised <coughs> to give you a little bit uh, of a story behind that little Aleph. Um, the book of Leviticus opens up with this phrase, Vaikra Adonai el Moshe. It's actually one of two places, uh, one is in Exodus, one in Leviticus, where this specific phrase of God specifically calling out to Moses. Uh, and, um, and there's a beautiful Midrash that is associated with that, with that phrase. Uh, according to, to the Jewish tradition, the God is dictating the Torah and Moses is writing it down. So they come to the book of Leviticus and God says, Vaikra Adonai el, Mosh el Moshe. And Moses, being the humble man that he is, he writes Vaikra with a hey at the end, which translates as, and it happened. And God interrupts him and says, no. That's not the word I'm looking for. I'm looking for Vaikra with an Aleph. And God called out to Moses. And the Midrash draws uh, the, the distinction and says, you know, Moses is trying to play it down. He's trying to say, oh, you know, I just happened to stand there. You know, it just, it so happened that God gave these, these words to, to us. And God says, no, 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 don't diminish the role that you have played in this in this encounter as you were receiving the Torah. And so as, as Midrash has the ability to do so, there is a continued argument. Yes, please. No, thank you. You know, very polite. But uh, Moses and, and God argue a little bit. Uh, and eventually God says, no, um, you are going to write it the way I intended. You're going to write it with an Aleph. Uh, you're going to acknowledge your role. But in recognition of Moses' humility, the scribes, when they write it down, they write the Aleph as a little one. It's half size. So it says, yes, we acknowledge that this was indeed a divine revelation that didn't just occur. It didn't just happen. It came to Moses. Uh, but we also recognize his humility. Uh, I, I think there's lots of, uh, lots of beautiful Midrashim that have come out of this lovely story. Uh, you don't have to necessarily buy the story wholesale to appreciate and to remember the fact that there's a little Aleph at the end of Vaikra, one of those beautiful scribal traditions. And as I mentioned, indeed, every Torah scroll that you open will have that little Aleph. But I think there is something in there uh, which perhaps can help us today. And that is when we go through experiences in life, we always have a choice of how we perceive them. It could be that they are Vaikra. It just happened. This happened and this happened. There's a hey at the end of it. Or it could be that we begin to see a little bit of an Aleph and we say, you know what? Some of those experiences perhaps were not coincidences and perhaps they did not just happen, but perhaps there is something bigger to this life, things that we do not see and allow a little bit of mystery and a little bit of magic in a, in a good sense, not a magic trick, although there should always be a place for a good magic trick. I, right, Rita? There should always be a place for a good magic trick in our life. Um, of all the things that I aspire to try and, and be like, uh, like Jerry, I could never show magic tricks uh, the way that he did. So, um, um, May you, as you go through life and as you get to celebrate big moments and small moments, uh, when you want to downplay the significance of the moment, or if, when, you, when you have a tendency, as we all do, to just let it slide, think back to that little hey uh, and, uh, and think about wel welcoming that little Aleph uh, into it. Um, oh, I see. There we go. Uh, I was I was wondering what on earth that meant. Now I understand because uh, Bernie came to visit. There we go. Okay. So <laughs> I, is that is that a little Aleph moment? Is that what we what we think it is, or or a big hey, uh, whichever else it is. Um, thank you all so much. Mazeltov to Walter. Mazeltov uh, to Paul and Myrna. Mazeltov to Dave. And and of course, if you are celebrating. 
uh, an anniversary or a birthday this month uh, somewhat quietly. Mazel tov to you as well. If you would like uh, an aliyah, we have uh, the next service is coming up on April 3rd. Uh, it's a Shabbat morning and in fact it's the last day of Passover as well. We will have a special a special service. We'll say Yisker and we will also have a special visitor, uh, the Rabbi Julia Gris, who's a rabbi in Odessa in Ukraine. So she will be coming and joining us as part of celebration of our big world union family but more about that later and now would you please rise for aleinu aleinu l'shabech l'adon hakol latet g'dola l'yotzer b'reishit shehu sam chelkenu l'yached et shemo v'gohor aleinu l'hamlik malchuto v'anachnu korim u'mishtachavim u'modim Lifnei melech malchei hamlachim hakadosh baruchu v'nehemar v'hayadonai lemelech al ha'aretz bayomahu bayomahu ye adonai echad u'shemo 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 as we prepare to conclude our service with the words of Kaddish, we remember those whose yard sites occur this time uh, of year. Tonight we remember Shirley Brown, mother of Meryl Farber, Tara DeSanta Goldridge, as remembered by friend and Steve Grodzinski, Julia Graham, mother of Jim, Alex Hamburg, father of Myra Saxon, Larry Myers, remembered by Tracy and Dave Schiff, Barbara Pivauer, wife of Phil, Hadassah Soberman, mother of Oren, Maurice Ullman, father of Nancy Cohen, Malcolm Weber, father of Bruce Weber, um, as well as Leon Mizell. We uh, also uh, remember those who passed away in recent weeks and months, Sidney Shambram, Sylvia Abrams, Hyman Gluck, Norbert Eglash, Miriam Ratner, Nancy Suckman, Susan Mingione, Bess Fleischman, Ruth Rosenthal, Milton Woke, Pat Valente, Selma Fishkin, Talma Fenichel, June Gordon, Trina Cohen, Harold Eichler, Mitch Fleischman, Israela Weiser, Lynette Bletchman, Renee Lifshitz, Ted Roshofsky, Fred Candioti, Harvey Cedarbaum, Harriet Schachter Alfieri, Norma Botwin, Medi Stusnik, and Celia Gordon. Is there anyone else here observing a yard site? Oh, uh, I apologize. Orange Fire Marshal Tim Smith. Zecher Tzadik Levracha, may the memory of righteous endure for blessing. May comfort come to all the mourners as we say the words of Kaddish together. It gadal vid kadash shmeraba, be alma di vrachru teve am lich malchute, be hai hon of yomi hon of hae de hol bait Israel, bagalau visman kariv, vimru amen. Ye he shmeraba me varach la lamul al me al maya, it barach vish tabach vit baar vit romam vit nasse, vit hadar vit ale vit halal shme de kutsha brihu. Elam in Kolbir Hata Veshirata, Tushbe Hata Venechemata, Da Miran Bialma Vimru Amen. Yehesh Lamarabam in Shmaya, Vehaim Aleinu Vel Kol Israel, Vimru Amen. O se shalom bim Romav, Uya se shalom, Aleinu Vel Kol Israel, Vimru Amen. Please be seated. Um. We turn now to Melissa. Uh, Melissa, where are you? Where are you, Melissa? There you are. There you go. Okay. You have to. You have to be on the screen. Just to like find yourself. I did. Oh, you're muted. Okay. Um. Wait a minute. I have these up, and you. Uh, Shabbat Shalom and a warm web. welcome to all visitors who are joining us today, and to all of you. There's no Shabbat morning Torah study tomorrow morning uh, because it's the fifth and sixth grade Shabbaton. 
Tomorrow evening, there's a T.E. Havdalah and a talk with Rabbi Larry Englander on his new book about Maimonides, The Prince of Healers, tomorrow night, March 20th at 7.30 p.m. Registration is now open for the second night of Passover, Passover um, on March 28th. Check the re website. There's going to be a lot of great uh, music and uh, community building. Speaking of community building, there's a community-wide all-star musical pre-Passover Seder with, pre with PJ Library. It's free with advanced registration. It's Tuesday, March 23rd at 6 p.m. Should be a great activity for the kids. Magid and Song, more music that makes Temple Emmanuel ha happy. It's a family-friendly concert with Noah Aronson on Sunday, March 28th at 4 p.m. Prepare for Second Night Seder with a renowned Jewish musician and composer, Noah Aronson, who will lead a Passover concert featuring his unique Magid and Song experience. It's free for Temple Emmanuel members, but you need the advanced registration, and there's a link in the Shofar Blast. Um, I already uh, registered, and it's really easy to do. When the kids ask about hate, the men's club is meeting on Thursday, March 25th at 7.30 with Michael Cohen, the director of the Simon Wiesenthal Center in New York, to discuss this important topic. The sisterhood is also invited, as is the congregation, but please contact Doug Fenichel for more information. The 10th Beckerman Jewish Film Series is now on. You can watch movies online and join discussions. Check the JCC website. All the details of our events and programs are in your weekly shofar blast, and some are in the actual shofar. Are there any related brief TE announcements? Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Melissa. Uh, uh, The most important news of today is, in case you haven't checked your calendar for a while, Pesach is really coming. And it's really coming next week. Uh, so um, Passover begins next Saturday night, uh, which is quite, uh, quite remarkable to think about that. Uh, my family is uh, reminding me almost every day that when we finished the Seder last year online, we all agreed that we were never going to do that again. Well, I guess we've learned better uh, since then. The good news is we are now going to be so much more prepared, all of us, I think, to this experience than we were a year ago. prepared your Kiddush cup, uh, let us join together with the Kiddush. Vayhiyarev vayhivoker yom ha-shishi, vayhulu ha-shamayim ve-haaretz, v'chol tsevam, v'chal Elohim ba-yom ha-shvihi melech to asher asa, v'yishpot ba-yom ha-shvihi mikol melech to asher asa, v'yivarech Elohim et yom ha-shvihi v'kadesh oto, Kivos Shabbat Mikol Melachto Asher Bara Elohim Lasot Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddishanu B'mitzvotav V'ratzavahanu V'Shabbat Kodshobi Ahava U'vratzon Inchilanu 
זיכרון למעשה וראשית, כי הוא יום תחילה למקראי קודש, זכר לציאת מצרים. כיוונו וחרת, ואותנו קידשת מכל עמים, ושבת קודשך באהבה וברצון הנחלתנו. ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת. אמן. לחיים. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I apologize. Oh, now I'm knocking things off. Uh, I apologize for, uh, for not displaying this, this, the words for Aleinu. Uh, you all looked like you knew them by heart, um, but that was not my, my intention. I'm going to stop our transmission to uh, YouTube. So...